Welcome to 20th of December's Goli Blessing. In this blessing, we are going to talk about something very, very crucial. Think about a world where nobody is wasting time in getting angry. Nobody is wasting time in getting jealous. Nobody is wasting time in competing or even comparing themselves with others. Think about a world where everybody is content and yet improving on a daily basis. Actually adding on to improving everybody else's life. On a physical basis and automatically on a mental emotional basis there are no difficulties there are no problems that exist in that world now God wants us to become that person who is capable who is worthy of entering a world where people are not wasting their time fighting anger fighting ego fighting over situations fighting over things fighting over who's right who's wrong so much of time is wasted in doing that. So God wants us, or Supreme Creator wants us, to become as divine and pure as Him, or nearly as divine and pure as Him. So much so that we can bring about healing to this world, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, relationship healing. And all that is possible by having a stable and pure divine mind. That is possible when we are doing a Raj Yoga with Supreme Creator. Yoga means connection with the Supreme Creator and following His guidance to make sure that every moment, every second of us is divine and is on the right direction. So let's go ahead and find out what exactly does the Supreme Creator have to say over here. God says, May you fill your apron with God's blessings. May you fill your apron with God's blessings by knowing the importance of the confidence age. And become a conqueror of Maya. So may you fill your apron with God's blessing by knowing the importance of the confidence age and become a conqueror of Maya. The confidence age is a limited period of time. It's just 100 years. 86 years have gone. 14 years remaining. Every second, every year, every month, every week, every day is important. Why is that important? Let's explore here. God says, one second of the confidence age is even greater than a year of the other ages. They're 5,000 years. So one second of the confidence age is more than one year of the complete cycle. That means golden, silver, copper, iron age. If you waste even one second at this time, and we waste time in what? We waste time in thinking, useless, waste, impure, comparative, egoistic, jealous, greedy, lustful, angry thoughts, or thoughts of attachments where we are not able to move ahead thinking about progress. Change is necessary, right? So God says that is not just a second wasted, but a lot of time is wasted. Constantly remember the importance of this and you will continue to receive God's blessings at every second. Those whose aprons are always full of God's blessings can never have Maya come to them. Now, Maya is all the negativity which you can see in the world. Violence, anger, greed, selfishness, ego, jealousy, frustration, irritation, revenge. All these things encompassed together, bring them together, and you can call it Maya. So God says, those whose aprons are always full of God's blessings, can never have Maya come to them. That means when we have divine knowledge and spiritual weapons of how to fight all these negative traits within us and we have the weapons to pull them out of us and make sure that only divinity survives, then we can have a lot of time saved. She will run away from a distance. Who? Maya. So to save time is to make intense effort an intense effort maker means one who is constantly always a conqueror of Maya. Let's say a situation arises where you can in a normal natural way which people say get angry but you control that you make that impure thought or impure energy into pure. Instead of blaming, complaining, finding faults you start turning to look towards yourself and you start looking at a solution without wasting time 
without pointing out whose mistake it was. Now that is what God is talking about, overcoming Maya. And that can save a lot of time in this world, a lot of energy of the soul, a lot of energy of thoughts, words and actions. And a lot of time can be saved and a lot of things can be achieved in that short period of time. Think about it deeply. And that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris.